Hey, good morning, Summit. This is your weekly update coming your way right now. I'm Edward. This is Jake. And man, do we have a lot going on this week, Jake. Got some breaking news. Breaking, the, breaking what's the, news. What's the just, breaking news? Just got some breaking news from the news desk that we'll get to in just a moment. But uh, we want you to share this on all your platforms. Get the word out. Put it on your Facebook. Put it on your Twitter. You could email put it. it on your you could email Instagram. It. You could email it. Email the YouTube link to your friends and your family to the people out on the West Coast UPS, and the East Coast, you could UPS the North the video, Coast, the you South could Coast. FedEx the video. Yeah, because we've got some breaking news. But first, I feel yeah. so good. Remember last week, Edward, I told you about my decision to be more like Christ. Yeah, something about ironing clothes. Not wearing, yeah, not yep. ironing my clothes anymore. Don't Had tell me you're not going to wear gentleman clothes. gentleman that came up to me at church Sunday in a wrinkled shirt. <laughs> Let me tell you something, folks inspiring people to greatness that is why i do ministry to inspire people to be great and so now i'm thinking what else can i do hey, like that, what else are we was, doing was that, that jesus didn't was do that dude no he's married oh well. so i'm i'm asking myself some hard questions did jesus wear deodorant did jesus take showers did Je i mean there's a there, man there's no end to where this could go so but for right now, I'm going to stick with just not ironing my clothes until I can do a little bit more research. Wow. But, hey, you look all ironed up today, though. It's well, I'm wearing a T-shirt. Not, not bad, so. Uh, wearing my FFA T-shirt. I'm an FFA dad. Hey, hey. hey um, this Sunday, October 3rd, we're going to continue our series. I'm really excited about our series right now, The Compliments of Jesus. You guys have... Um, uh, many of you have reached out to me over this last Sunday. Of, and complimented uh, you. They, yeah, I guess so. But uh, this Sunday, we're going to get practical again at the end of my message. We're um, really excited about this Sunday, talking about integrity and honesty. And uh, this Sunday, we're going to get really, really, really practical at the end of that. So I hope you come ready to take notes or... Um, uh, pictures of the screen, that kind of stuff. We'll have it on Facebook. No bootleg videos, though. Uh, we Facebook Live everything. We own the rights to that. Don't be bootlegging videos. I don't care if you bootleg. Hey, video. I got some breaking news, Edward, about this Sunday okay, as well. On? What's going on? What's going we on? We are having a groups gathering for people that have yet to connect in groups. Many of you are filling out communication cards and you're saying, I want to be in groups. And so I'm going to give you an opportunity this Sunday after church to hang out after church. I'm going to feed you. We're going to dissect and discuss Edward's sermon, some talking points, some facilitation questions. We're going to get to know each other. And so if you've been looking to connect in a group and you haven't found a group, come to my groups gathering Sunday immediately after the service. In fact, if you're watching this video, send me an email telling me that you're coming. I look forward to meeting you and I look forward to being in a group with you and doing this. We're going to do it on the first Sunday of every month. I've already got three people that are coming that are going to be potential and future small group leaders. And so cool. they want to meet with you cool. and connect with you so that y'all can start a group together. Cool. You know, it's really not breaking news. You now you announced that last Edward, week. I got some more breaking news for this Sunday, week. October the 3rd, hot off the wire, just came into the newsroom. We are having a night of worship this Sunday at 5.30, night of worship. 5.30. 5.30. 530. We're going to just spend time worshiping. Our band's been practicing for a couple months now, and they've got some cool worship songs picked out. <laughs> Get your small group together. Come as a group. Come by yourself. Come as you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the buses will wait. All that good stuff. So breaking news there. Hot off the press. Just got into the newsroom this Sunday, October 3rd, night of worship. Uh, it's going to be so good, too. And we're also going to be dedicating our, our babies this Sunday. Uh, I think we've got eight that we're dedicating wow. this Sunday. It's one of our largest. That's a big family. Um, no, it's more than one family. Oh. Um, lar largest group of babies we've had in a while. So, And I know we've got another group coming up. Uh, there's a lot of uh, ladies that are pregnant. A lot and, of COVID babies. Uh, so, uh, it's a COVID boom, uh, baby excited boom. Excited about that. And so be praying for these families. If you have raised children, you know. The, I've raised um, them. Uh, just we need to pray over them and come along beside them. We're excited. Pray about for them. the parents. So, hey, we got a golf tournament coming up too. And hey, guys, I got some breaking news. It just came news? into the to the desk, hot off the wire about this golf tournament. Yep, come on. This uh, October the 9th fundraiser for the youth ministry. We need teams. Hey, we have time is got that? to. We're gonna eat. We're gonna check in at 12:30. Eat lunch at one. Tee gotcha. off at two. Gotcha. But gotcha. we got to have teams. And I know there's golfers out there. Put a team together so we can raise money to send kids to camp. 
Uh, I'll have all the registration forms at the info desk Sunday. It's a four-man best ball scramble. Or I, woman. Four hey, woman, four man, those, four person. Some of those door prizes they're going to be giving away yeah. are cool, there's dude. A pretty, there's one cool door prize that I've already won that's uh, really cool. You've already won it. How'd you already win it? Edward, I got some more breaking news. Just came in through the wire the end of October. October the 24th. We're having a fall festival. Oh, I'm so excited about fall that. Fall festival. Yeah. Uh, October Love 24th it. from 5 to 7. We need volunteers. Ashley has a booth. Uh, right before you go into the Kid Venture area, yeah. uh, you need to stop by that booth Sunday, pick up some volunteer sheets, and volunteer for that. So booths, food, service, trash, um, welcome, uh, all kinds of stuff. That, you, know, you, you can even do oh, your hey, own Oh, hey, hang on, hang on, what's got that? Oh, I just got some more breaking news about the night of worship that just came in. Child care for night of worship will be provided for babies and then up through second grade. So any child third grade and older, yeah. we want you to bring them into the night of worship. But this just breaking, coming in, you know, in my earpiece here, I got the children's minister talking to me, going to provide child care for babies up through second grade for night of worship. There's just so much breaking news happening at Summit Heights because we just have a lot of stuff going on. That's cool. I'm That's glad to be here, though, on the field, you know, in the field, out in the community, breaking the stories. Hot off the press. It's what we do. What else you got? Anything? I don't know, man. I mean, nothing's coming in right now. Nothing. There, you know there's nothing in your ear. I mean, you do have some hair growing out your ear. How old are you? Getting on up there, man, when hair starts growing out your ear and on top of your ears and that kind of stuff. Good to go, man. Good to go. Yep. Simon, we sure do love you. I love doing these videos. Make sure you share these uh, with everybody you can. Put them on your platforms. Again, there is a lot going on. And, and who we are as a church and what we're doing this Sunday in October, the golf tournament, all that, we exist to connect people to God and others. Bottom line? Relationship. Relationship. Everything we do is about relationship. And so if you want to know our vision, it's about relationship. We want to connect people to God, and then we want to connect people to others. So if you're not connected, uh, get with Jake, and we can help you to small groups. There's places you can serve. There's uh, all kinds of things going on. Uh, there's a group that's building porches and ramps and uh, food ministry. Uh, there's all kinds of things going. So uh, that's why we exist. We want to be a light in this community. We want to love on people. And so come. Come Sunday, ready to worship, ready uh, to go. There's a lot going on. We love you. 10 o'clock, Sunday morning, 530, not a worship this Sunday. We'll see you Sunday.